emails. Uh, the brother who did not mention his name, he says that for long 10 years I've been suffering and I've been practicing for the past two years. I'm 26 years now and I've been praying five uh, prayers a day and I've been trying my level best to be God-fearing. However, I have this illness in me. I have this fear that I may die as a kafir or I may commit suicide. So I've been asking Allah Azza wa Jal to give me a natural death and Allah did not make this happen. So his question is, if I kill myself, would I be thrown in hell because of killing myself? Or can I object to Allah and say, oh Allah, I've requested that you give me a natural death and you didn't. And I've requested you that you relieve me from my uh, tribulation and situation and you did not answer. So will I still go to hell? And the answer is committing suicide is one of the major sins of Islam. Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned that in Surah An-Nisa. And the Prophet told us alayhi salatu wasalam, that it is a major sin. And the person who kills himself would be killing himself until the day of judgment that is in his grave, whether by stabbing, if he committed suicide by stabbing himself or drinking poison or throwing himself from a high riser or a mountain or drowned himself, he will be continuously punished with the same way that he killed himself till the day of judgment. And then it is up to Allah Azza wa Jal because this is one of the major sins. It does not take a person out of the fold of Islam, but it is a major sin. If Allah Azza wa Jal wishes to punish him, Allah would do so. If Allah wishes to forgive him, this is up to Allah. You have no right in objecting to Allah Azza wa Jal. You have to kick these bad thoughts and whispers of shaitan. Don't let shaitan play you. The only one who's laughing his head off is shaitan when you have these thoughts look at the positive things that allah has given you look at your health look at your wealth look at look at those around you family members that allah has blessed you with look at the three meals that you have look at the food you have look at the education you have there's so many things that you can be grateful but those who are by nature ungrateful would continue to doubt allah azza wa jal so be careful because this is one of the major sins.